President William Ruto's allies hinted at supporting constitutional amendments, which will see former Prime Minister Ray Lodinger granted more powers as the opposition leader. Speaking during an interview on NTV on Thursday, December 1, National Assembly leader of the majority Kimani Ikhungwu expressed that they would support the idea of financing Railer's office through the Exchequer. However, he insisted that the funds needed to be used for public functions only. In response to proposals to have Railer address Parliament every year as the President, he opined that parliamentary affairs needed to be left to elected and nominated members. On the other hand, United Democratic Alliance Chairman Johnson Muthamu asserted that the move would ensure that the country is more united after the elections. He opined that the current system left poll losers in the cold, making other Kenyans feel left out of government. The constitutional amendment bill sponsored by Azimio is expected to be tabled before the House floor in 2023 after MPs resume sittings from recess. In the changes, Azimio proposed that the opposition leader also have the power to make appointments to select parliamentary committees. Other proposals in the bill include creating the office of the deputy opposition leader, whose operations are funded by the government. Azimio won Kenya coalition leaders Kalonza Muzioka, Rayla Odinga and Martha Karua. The 24th of November 2022. We have always encouraged bipartisanship in the consideration of any and all business that comes before us in the House. And therefore, if they intend to bring any form of bill uh, that they want a bipartisan approach, we are always willing and ready to engage with anybody and everybody in this country. When President Ruto gave his speech, his maiden speech, after he was inaugurated, one thing he said that he wishes to see a strong opposition being in place. There is absolutely nothing wrong in having a forum for the leader of the opposition to engage with Kenyans. Uh, I, for instance, don't believe that the floor of parliament is where uh, that should happen. Uh, he should have an office somewhere maybe. Nothing stops any leader, uh, whether you're in government or in the minority or in the opposition from soliciting for funds so long as those funds are going towards uh, the interests of the public. But if you want to use an office that you are telling us will be catered for by the Exchequer to solicit for funds for your own use or for the use of your political coalition, then I don't think we, the public should be funding you. Folks, Raila received 6.9. Look at that following behind Raila, behind him. Are you telling me that person does not deserve really, one, to have an office? Number two, to have his car fueled up, to be able to reach the 6.9 million Kenyans. Are you telling me that that person should not have a public addressing system given by the government to reach the 6.9 voters? who voted for him, we will be doing injustice to Kenyans.